This is Twit. Hey, Megan and Leo. I love the episode of iOS Today where the focus was security. What are your thoughts on LifeLock? Likes, dislikes, recommendations? Thanks. LifeLock is so controversial. And I, what I'm going to say is going to be controversial. Okay. I am a LifeLock subscriber. And by the way, as soon as the Equifax breach happened, I signed up Lisa and Michael for LifeLock as well. It's not cheap. It's expensive. And probably you don't need it. <laughs> uh, the reason I do it is because presumably I'm a target, right? Because I go on the, you know, the Internet and talk about security. That immediately makes you a target. Uh, mm -hmm. And so I use it. But you'll see a lot of bad press about LifeLock. In fact, they were sued by a number of state attorneys general and lost and had to do a consent decree, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there are a couple of things at play here, though. Remember the politics of this. LifeLock started by putting fraud alerts on all of the credit reporting agencies. We know fraud alerts work and they're good, but the credit reporting agencies hate them because it it means, means they can't make money on you. They can't sell your information to companies trying to give you credit card offers, among other things. So they don't like fraud alerts. So they they went after LifeLock, in my opinion, precisely because of this. And they got LifeLock to stop doing it with these lawsuits with the attorneys general, state attorneys general. And then the state attorneys general said, you can't claim certain things. Remember, LifeLock was the company where the CEO, foolishly, I might add, went around with his he put his social security number on billboards and on television and radio ads and said, hack me. And he got hacked many, 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 many times. It was a very bad idea. So let's talk about today's LifeLock, which is very different than the LifeLock I first subscribed to. Because that was, that was effective, putting fraud alerts. But they got stopped from doing that because the credit agencies. Now, you can do it by hand. In fact, you, you may want to do that. Put fraud alerts on all your accounts. It, it makes it hard to get credit because you have to unlock the fraud alert. And, oh, by the way, in many states, not all, but many states, the credit reporting agencies, Equifax, TransUnion, um, uh, the other one with an E, Experian, Experian um, will charge you money to put the fraud alert on, to turn it off temporarily and to put it back on again. So I think these companies are evil. <laughs> Credit reporting agencies. I understand they're a necessary evil because there has to be some way for a, a lender to verify that you're good for it, right? And so that's why they exist. But they really don't exist uh, for you. And and they don't like LifeLock at all because it gets in their way and they've been very aggressively pursuing LifeLock. What LifeLock does now, so let's talk about what they do now, is they, they realize that, well, you know, we, we've now been prevented from doing the most effective thing. So we're going to try credit monitoring and they do two things, really, credit monitoring or your account monitoring for you. And they will do, um, uh, it's basically insurance. They'll help you if you do get your uh, identity stolen. It's basically insurance. They'll help you get it back. You're, you're getting, you know, a, a million dollars worth of remediation, that kind of thing. Uh, but let's talk about the monitoring. Monitoring is of maybe dubious value. Um, it's up, you'll have to think about this. What it does is it keeps an eye on your all your personal information they in order to make this more effective they bought one of the companies that does all the back-end processing of credit cards so they actually get more information than even your credit card company they bought the company that your credit card company is probably using to monitor fraud right so they get a lot of information a lot of signals and i'll give you an example we bought uh we bought a new, or leased a new car for lisa uh, at christmas time and uh they did, ran a credit report on her she immediately got from LifeLock, an alert. Somebody's checking your credit. So it really does work. And it was, it was, that's great to know because if you get that and you didn't apply for a loan, that would be a big red flag. So I think that's useful. I should also point out her bank or one of her credit cards also offers credit monitoring for free as a customer. So she got an alert from them too. So that now, whether they watch as many things as LifeLock does, that's not clear. Uh, so in my opinion, LifeLock does, has relationships with as many of the agencies that would be involved if you were to try to get a credit card, or more importantly, if a bad guy were trying to get a credit card in your name. So that's, I find that useful. Um, but you have to be the judge of it. And then the secondary side of it, which is they help you remediate your credit, I think many people would find that useful. There is nothing LifeLock does probably that you can't do 
in a variety of ways. For one thing, you should always be looking at your credit report. You can get your credit report free once a year, which is not enough. But better that than nothing from all th all three. Actually, there's now a fourth credit reporting agency, but the main, the big three. You should probably be doing that. You, do you check your credit card bills every single month to make sure that every single charge was one of yours? You should be doing that. These are all things you could do that would give you some some of the most of the same benefits for free of LifeLock. I choose to use LifeLock. I believe in LifeLock. And I do believe that a lot of what you're going to read, the negative press you're going to read uh, about LifeLock was really generated by the credit reporting agencies who didn't like this company because it cost them money. And so when you, I feel like I get free credit monitoring for all the hacks that I've been a part of, like, right. you know, from Target and Equifax. And is there some kind of standard on what cre credit monitoring is, or is it just like a vague term that people So here's PC guy things? in the chat room saying, well, LifeLock doesn't monitor all transactions. They say that in their disclaimer. Yeah, they have to. You know what transactions they don't monitor? Cash. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> they can't. No one can. Um, I think you... This is the thing that's hard to figure out, and I don't know. You want some, you're right. You can get credit monitoring in a variety of ways for free. Equifax will give it to you for free. I'm not sure I would do a deal with Equifax, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure I would trust them. By doing it with a third party that doesn't make money selling your your information, LifeLock, um, you're, I think you're, you're maximizing the signals you're getting. See, you can ask your bank or your credit card to do that. Discover card says, yeah, we do free credit card monitoring. But do we know if they see as many things as LifeLock? Do we know how they do that? Some of these companies just make a deal with Experian or, or, or Equifax and say, well, just ping us if there's a, anything going on. Uh, that's a good start. LifeLock does that too, but LifeLock does more than that. And I don't want to do it. I'm not doing an ad for LifeLock. Although I should mention as a disclaimer, they have been an advertiser on the radio show. They're not anymore, but they had been in the past. But they were. An, I bought LifeLock more than a decade ago uh, and long before they ever advertised. And I continue to maintain a subscription. And in fact, I think it's important to have a subscription, not just for you, but for your kids as well. Because one thing credit thieves like to do is go after kids because they have, you know, clean records. They can often get the birth certificate. It's, it's an easy thing to do. And more, more importantly than that, if a kid's credit is ruined, that's a, that's a lifetime of bad credit. So I think I I believe in it. I spend several hundred dollars a year on LifeLock, and I believe in it. But it's controversial. Of course, it can't monitor everything. You can cobble together much of the same thing for free using a variety of services. You might want to at least do that. And, of course, with some effort, you can monitor your own credit pretty thoroughly. I prefer just to put it on automatic and let it go. And, it, and you know, I, it, I've seen it work, and so that's good news. And by the way, my credit's never been frozen. I've never, I mean, stolen. I've never had a problem. So. Hmm.